Paul Pogba, more often than not for Manchester United fans, he's the main story. Sometimes it's for a match-winning captain's performance, other times it's for a poor performance. And then other times it's for more of a sideshow than anything. When Jose Mourinho was in charge, we had the whole Pogba versus Mourinho breakdown in their relationship and everything that Mourinho and Pogba said to each other in the press. And that didn't stop until Mourinho was sacked. And now, in March, we've been treated to some lovely comments from Paul Pogba about Real Madrid and Zinedine Zidane. Now, what has Pogba said? What's happened? I'm going to run through the full story with you today. Before I get into it, if you are new to United People's TV and you haven't seen this before, come on, subscribe, get involved. But let's get straight into it. Paul Pogba and Real Madrid, it's nothing new. Back before Manchester United re-signed Paul Pogba, it was Real Madrid who were considered the other club very much in the running to sign Pogba. Ultimately, he moved to Manchester United instead of Real Madrid, which was great for United fans, but Real Madrid have always been sniffing around the heels of Paul Pogba. And not long after that, Zinedine Zidane did confirm that Real Madrid were interested in Pogba, went on to say that who wouldn't be interested in Paul Pogba? He's one of the best players in the world, and rightly so. He was the transfer story of the summer when he rejoined Manchester United. So it was no surprise to hear Zidane confirm that Real Madrid didn't want to sign him. And then a year later, Popa himself said, I turned down a move to Madrid. I had Madrid. Madrid wanted me, Barcelona wanted me, but I followed my heart and I rejoined United. And for United fans, that's what you want to hear. But what you don't want to hear is Paul Pogba talking about a dream move to Real Madrid. If you haven't heard what Paul Pogba has said, here's the clip. J'ai toujours dit Real Madrid, c'est un club de rêve pour tout pour tout le monde. C'est un des plus grands clubs au monde. Et euh, ouais, il y a Zidane euh, qui est qui en est coach. C'est c'est un rêve pour tout pour tout enfant, pour tout joueur de de foot. Maintenant là où je suis, je suis euh, je suis heureux, je suis heureux à Manchester. Je joue. On a eu un nouveau coach, donc euh, pour l'instant je suis à Manchester. Après plus tard, on ne sait pas qu'est-ce qu que l'avenir nous dira, mais euh, aujourd'hui je suis, je suis à Manchester et, et je suis heureux. Right. What do we make of these comments from Popper? I mean, first things first. In defence of Popper, it was a loaded question. Popper was simply answering a question that was asked to him by a journalist. He's out on international duty with France. Zinedine Zidane's just taken over Real Madrid again. Of course, he's going to get asked about Real Madrid. However, there is quite a lot wrong with what Pogba did have to say. Firstly, the simple response from Pogba here could have been to sort of brush the question off, not answer it directly, not fuel the speculation, not feed the press. Pogba is a very intelligent man. He knows exactly what comments like that would do in the press because his agent is Mina Raiola. When they played the game, when he joined Manchester United, he played the game perfectly. And here, he's playing the game again. And that's rightly pissed off United fans. And another point, Popper, as I said, is a very intelligent man. And United fans are smart as well. We're not disillusioned to the fact that Real Madrid is the dream club for a lot of players. And why wouldn't it be? It's been more than a decade since United have won the Champions League. And Real Madrid have won it three times in a row under Zinedine Zidane. And now he's back as their manager. Real Madrid is the dream club for so many players. But you don't need to hear your captain say it in the press. I mean, it's like you're, you've got a missus. She's got a really hot sister. And she's always catching you looking at her. And she knows that you would. But you don't go to your missus and say, I want to bang your sister. You have tact about it. You don't need to verbalise it. Take David De Gea. He's wanted a dream move to Real Madrid for years. He's from Madrid, born in Madrid. But we didn't hear David De Gea talking about his dream move to Madrid. He sat silently in the background and let all the transfer talk create itself. On the other hand, Paul Pogba is there feeding and fueling the machine. And that is what has pissed United fans off. No United fan is annoyed with the fact that Real Madrid is probably Popper's dream club. It was for Ronaldo too. We didn't want him to leave, but we knew we had to let him go. But just to hear Popper make the conscious choice here to say it when he could have simply avoided the question, 
That is what has fucked United fans off. And I think rightly so. And I think in the context of everything that's happening at the moment, the thing that has annoyed United fans the most is why now? Why rock the boat now, Paul? Everything is heading in the right direction under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. We've just beaten PSG in the Champions League. We're into the quarterfinals to face Barcelona. What a fucking game that's going to be. We're in the top four race again. You're playing great apart from the last couple of games. Why rock the boat now? You can understand this sort of speculation and frustration that comes out in dire times. And under Mourinho, you didn't accept it, but you understood it a little bit more than now. I just don't understand why you would say that now, when you could have, as I said, just brushed the question off calmly. And I think Paul Pogba is a player who's hyper-criticised at Manchester United. When he plays great, he's the world's best player in the world. When he doesn't play good, he's the world's worst player. Sell him, fuck him off. But Pogba doesn't give himself the leeway that other players get because of stuff like this. These sort of sideshow moments. They don't help him establish that relationship with the fan base that other players have. And it's because of things like this. This whole palaver could have been avoided by simply not answering the question. But now, this speculation is going to go on all year long, all through the summer. Will Pogba be joining Real Madrid and Zidane? Mina Raiola is going to fuel it as well. And it's going to fuck a lot of United fans off. And it's just so wholly unnecessary that it has pissed me off. And I think that's the reason it's annoyed so many United fans. Now, I'll always stand by the fact that if any player doesn't want to play for Manchester United, sell them, move them on. Bring somebody else into the club whose dream is Old Trafford, is Manchester, is United. Don't keep a player at the club against his will. When Ronaldo wanted to move, we kept him for one more year. I'm a fucking slave. That was ridiculous. But we let him move. We moved on from Ronaldo. Yeah, we struggled to move on from Ronaldo. But as a club, we held on to our identity by not bowing to the demands of an individual player. If Popper does want to leave, United will replace him. We'd really struggle to replace him because he's a hell of a player, but we'd replace him. And if a player doesn't want to play for United and has a dream elsewhere, he should be moved on. But what do you make of these comments from Popper? Is it getting blown out of proportion? Is he just telling the truth? Or is it not something that you want to hear from Paul Pogba now or any other United player? Let me know what you think about these comments from Pogba in the comments section below. Has it pissed you off? Or is it something you can just push to one side and say, look, don't make something out of nothing. I'm really interested to hear what you think in the comments below. If you're new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe. Until next time, take it easy.